Hello there. Thank you for... What, what, what would you say? Starting? Joining? Listening to this podcast? This is Andrew Bush. Thanks so much for uh, listening to our podcast here, The Random Bush Show. This episode, I hope you really, really enjoy it because it's really, really good. Thank you. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever committed a crime? I have. Have you? I have committed a crime. Like, like now, like, are we talking about like, like I tore the tags off of my mattress type of crime, or you called a friend at three o'clock in the morning to get help to bury the body type of a crime? Um, a little bit in between. Ooh, well, do you want to talk about? I it don't on the know. Podcast? Oh yeah, absolutely. Are, are you sure. still liable for this crime? I'm not exactly sure how liable I am for this crime, but what did you do? I committed. I committed a theft. Andrew. I committed a theft. I went. Is this some like petty five finger discount? Like as a kid, I, you took some candy? When I was a child. Here it is. I stole a large rubber spider from the target. And I was playing with it. This is this is the reason why I think of this is like a still a serious crime. So, so you stole a large rubber spider toy. Yes. Does your parole officer know what you're doing these days? Well, well, <laughs> the reason I mention this is because when I stole it, what happened was is that I I took it. I was I was in the store uh-huh. and we went through the toy aisle because my mom. I didn't grow up rich. All right, I didn't grow up rich. So our equivalent of 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 buying toys was us going into oh, the no. toy aisle and looking you at the toys. You can play with anything you want. You can play with these while you're here. Within the realm of this you can aisle, go and look at all these toys and play Andrew, with them. And Andrew, look, we're not buying any of these. All of but... these toys are yours. You can't take them home. <laughs> you cannot take them home. Don't break them. <laughs> Don't break them, but for the time being, between these empty aisleways, all these toys are yours. This is a true story, and, 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 and I know that seems I know that seems sad, but it's actually I think it's more funny than anything else. Where it's like, you want to play basketball? Here, you can play with this basketball while I go and I buy paper towels and I buy other things. You just bounce, and this is what my mom would do. She would literally take it because I'd be sitting in the car or whatever. She would take it and put it in the basket, and I would play with it while I was in the basket, and then she would take it and then put it back away when we were leaving the store <laughs> oh no yeah so, so she was would, in the basket for like half so, the shop yeah, so, like, yeah that's my ball i was very aware i, I was very aware i was very aware that i was not well i think another another i think a big test of it too a big testament of it was mm-hmm. this whole idea of that like how much do you really like this are you gonna be one of these freaking kids that i spend 25 35 dollars on this toy and then it just gets neglected in the yard or well, I you think don't if anybody play with would it. have a good idea as to what type of kid you would be, it would be your mom. Well, yeah, yeah, but she also – keep in mind, my mom also worked at a hospital, and she brought home a bunch of those sticks one time that you put on your tongue, uh-huh. and that was my favorite toy growing up was all those sticks. I had all these this little answering sticks. answering a lot of questions. I had all these sticks, and they were so much fun, dude. That put Draw little faces on them, and I had all my stick buddies. I had like a thousand toys. <laughs> I had like a – yeah, I had a sure. thousand stick action figures. They were stick men. They were so cool. Little wooden stick guys. Sure. You could, really cool. You could create them to be whatever you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I, I took the spider. This is one of the spiders that was in the cart. Okay. And I liked the spider so much. And I was, ah, he was crawling on my sister and he was crawling on, and he was crawling on everything. As we're just driving by things, I'm like, hey, uh, and you know, p- making him crawl on everything. Right. And I went and I put him in my pocket. And we went and we checked out. My mom didn't notice that I had – she thought I threw it somewhere or something sure, or I had lost it. it along the way. And we're in the car and I'm back in the car and I, I try and spook her out. So I, so I pull it out and I put it on her and I'm like, Ugh! And she goes, you didn't put that back? And I, no. That, well, I didn't, I didn't buy that, Andrew. I didn't pay for that. Oh. So you know what that means? That means you stole it. Dum, bum, bum. That means that you stole that. Oh, no. And I said, well, what's going to happen? She goes, I don't know. Maybe, you know. Don't you love how parents play maybe off? We'll, like, I don't know what's going to happen. put you in kid jail. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> that is what she said. For the rest she of your said, life, you just said, made a choice. No, no, no. She goes, she goes, she goes, well, I guess you're just going to be a criminal. Oh, oh, geez. Like, I guess you're just oh, a criminal. No. I guess. And I said, no, I'll turn myself in. And I, and I was like, we can go put it back. I was like, we can go back. We can go put it back. We can go put it back you right now. You can't put it back. You can't put it back. You already stole it's it. It's done. It's over. Mm-hmm. It's in your pocket. She goes, if we go back in there and, and show that you stole that, 
they're they're gonna call the police and the police are gonna come and get you oh wow your mom so really you, it up so you made your choice you made your decision Uh-oh. and i never played with that fucking spider <laughs> never so you never no i think that spider is actually probably still sitting at my mom's house probably in the bottom of a drawer somewhere and i never because i was so guilt-ridden i was like i hate it you made me a criminal <laughs> spider you, I hate it. and that is the worst crime to this day because I've actually done other small things like rip tags off of mattresses. Oh, I've well, gotten speeding a, tickets. Yeah. You know, I, I've I've had to. I've not paid my registration. There's other things like that that are that are deviant. That are that are delinquent. Yeah, that are petty crimes. I've never, but I've never committed a serious crime. But I feel like that is the most serious crime to this day that I have ever committed because. I still feel guilty about it. Well, let me. I still have this guilt. Like I actually want to. Like thinking about it, I'm actually kind of panicking, thinking I need to go back to my mom's house and get that spider <laughs> and find a target and be like, "Hey, by the way, 20 years ago I stole this." I would like to make um, some recompense. Please don't like call to, the police. Please Let's don't call the out. police. My mom told me I'd be in jail if Can I. You imagine now that you are an adult, they're yeah. like, "Well." If you were a kid when you returned this, we we totally would look the other way. I mean, we're not monsters, but. You're an adult, sir. Yeah. We have to call the police. How long have you had this? How long have you had this? Like 20 years? Yeah. Well, you know what? It's, <laughs> Sir, your bill comes to $7,641 <laughs> interest in it. This was originally a $2 spider. It is now this much. That's over the amount. You're going to prison. Mm-hmm. This is this is a oh, federal yeah. cr- Oh, no. What are you in for, man? Stole a spider when I was five. Your mom was right. That did make you a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> And now, random thoughts. I saw someone wearing a t-shirt the other day and it said, I woke up like this. And I couldn't help but think, Maybe you should go back to bed. did it again. What do you have to say for yourself, herpes monkey? (laughs) Do you think I'm just going to stand here and take these same sad excuses? (laughs) You know what? Save it, herpes monkey. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. (laughs) Remember, kids, herpes monkey always says... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's right, herpes monkey. You scamp you. And now, thoughts from the bush. I didn't know this until recently, but ponies aren't baby horses. The horses and ponies are a completely different species. And dolphins? Well, those are just gay sharks. Let's say you're on a lifeboat, right? And if you're on a lifeboat, you're on a lifeboat and your mom is pregnant and there's like a plane crash and she's pregnant and she's on a boat right, right. and she ends up on a raft in the middle of the right, Pacific okay. Ocean and she going. gives birth. Are you now a pirate? Because you have no country? Are you a baby with no country? You, you grow are up a baby a with no country. That's you a great a movie. Rogue. Coming this summer yeah, from Fox Searchlight Pictures. Pirate baby. <laughs> Pirate baby. He's a baby with no country. Goo goo gar gar. 
He doesn't need a peg leg because he can't even walk. No, I, I don't know how it works. You're absolutely right. Um, so do you believe, like, if you... Your nationality, right? Like, you're born in there, and it's like, oh, like, I I was born here. And then you sign, like, a little... Ba- I don't know I, how that you works. You sign a little, I'm a baby certificate. Well, you don't sign little, shit. No, you did they don't make you sign it. No, the baby doesn't sign anything. Well, you do. They they put your little hand down yeah, in the shit, right. and they make you do that because that's how babies write. They write with their hands. You're right. They give their hand print. Yeah, and that's a baby signature. Wow. Yeah, that's and that's deep. the and you get and you get a little certificate that says I once used to be a baby. I once used to be yeah, a baby. It's I, the, I, 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 I used to be a baby process. certificate. Yeah. If you think about it, the guy who does those certificates, his job is just to identify babies when he sees them. He's like, oh, that's a baby, and then he goes and he writes it down. Wait, wh- what? There's a guy who does the the birth certificates. Okay, that's it. And like, in order to do that, like, he has to like see the baby, and then like, does he have to actually see the baby? He can't take your word for it. No, no, I think no, he has I to see the, the baby. Doctor fills out the thing, right? So the doctor probably, but the baby's like, I have to write down every time I see a baby. Well, the doctor was there. He Whenever he catcher. sees the baby, he has to get a thing. And he has to write down, "I saw a baby today," and then put the date <laughs> and no, the name of the baby I, I that he saw. I don't think he has yes, to keep he a record does. of he all, has to do all of this. Like every well, time all he the sees babies the baby, ongoing, he's like, "Oh, there." He's like, "What?" is that is that a baby let me write it down i am the grand to, record God. keeper of all the ongoings of babies damn it i saw a baby now i have to do a whole record about this baby i have to do a whole thing he gets a piece of paper and he writes down i saw this baby at this time <laughs> and this is with the baby's name and here's a picture of the baby's footprint and he has to do all that stuff for that baby so he's just like a baby narc he's just yeah. wandering around watching the babies yeah. making sure that they're keeping in line doing every baby time shit. he sees a baby he's like write it down no no he's just every time he sees one like oh write down this baby what's he so paranoid about what do you think they're up to no but i think don't you think that this is what about the job? baby without a nation all the babies born the that day baby. yes the, the rogue baby never know how old that baby is the mom dies There's no paperwork. and the baby has to survive by eating the mom like Whoa. in the tube you know wow. what I mean? like, while he's in that's... the tube and then someone comes across the baby that's the baby of no nation and it will not know anything it won't know anything it won't realize that it's a pirate baby that baby. it partly ate its mom at gum you know this it... baby doesn't even have a chance this baby ate his mom yeah as a baby yeah okay like raw too well i was i thought about this because the baby can't really thought about this you can't really eat somebody if you're a baby you know what i mean like you can't eat solid food like how would you figure out this is a baby without a nation this baby's a badass okay you know what this baby was you know what would have been better for her if she would have jumped out of the raft given birth and then he could just lived in the ocean for the rest of his life that's how mermaids were born it's it's more awful than that okay the umbilical cord was never cut Oh, and so he was just still feeding off of yep, her. Yep, just he just he just he just sucked her dry. Oh, until it was and then no, and finally, then he, when they find him, he cut the umbilical cord himself. Or a seagull came down and went. Yeah, or well, a shark. I just like the idea. A of, shark is his dad. Wow, that's his adopted father. His adopted who was father raised by a, by is a, a shark. Sharks. Oh my God! Why are we not writing this down? <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby without a nation. His mom died of birth. Baby. Her father was a shark. Cut his own umbilical cord and rode that shark to freedom. His his dad was a female shark because that could happen too. We're not here to judge lesbian sharks. Lesbian sharks. No, because the shark and wasn't a baby gay. With no nation. The shark wasn't in love with his mom. It doesn't matter what the it's shark. It's just a shark that was a shark. Why are you giving the shark sexuality? Because well, you issues? know, I, I I think about this sometimes. Okay, so you're thinking about a lot. You have a cat, right? Let's say you have a cat and you love this cat, like, and you give the cat like a little kiss. Sure, you, okay. you, I've seen people sure, do you, kiss you. You, 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 you give the kitty a little you kiss. Give the I kitty a kiss right. right on his little head because you love kitty. it. Pretty kitty. Cute. Oh, I love do you kitty. ever? Do you ever think for a second like, oh, this is a boy cat, and I just kissed a boy cat? No, it's kind of no, a. You not, never. Like, you never think of the sex of the cat. No, no, never. Do you? No, you're like, I'm just you're like, I, hey there, Mr. Like, Kittens. Occasionally. <laughs> well, I don't really. I just kind of <laughs> think about it as cute. It's about it's time like, we have ourselves a little smooch to smooch, don't you think there, Mr. Kittens? <laughs> you, you've, never seen, you've never seen Mr. Kittens, right? And he's growing up. He's not a kitty anymore. He's not a kitten anymore. He's becoming a cat. And you see this cat, and you go, well, oh, he's quite dashing for a cat. Ooh, look at this cat. You've never done that. You've I like never the been cut like, of oh. his jib. You've seen a cute cat, though. Oh, you yeah, seem like an adorable. attractive... No, you seem like an attractive cat. Like, if I was oh, right. a cat... Oh, pretty cats. Yeah, like, if I saying. was a cat, I'd be in that cat. Well, you'd like to... Th- whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't. I've never been in a situation where I like want to get into a cat. No, but if you were a cat, if if I was a cat, well, 
Is this what you think about? Like when you're wandering around in the world, you're like, you know what? If I was a cat, I'd be fucking the shit out of that cat right there. <laughs> I'm just seeing like I, a dog see, runs out. I you're like, you know what? If I was a dog, I see you obviously have never ever thought about this before. It's but never I'm crossed saying, my never mind. Never crossed your mind that like you see a cat and you're like, I wonder if that cat's good looking in like cat world. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me. Okay, here. Oh, hold on. You see what I'm saying? Let me like ah, uh, like you see a pig and you're like, ooh, that pig's disgusting. But you're like, is that pig a sexy pig in Pigland? Like that's the hottest pig. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to have a cat, and she, like, had kittens all the time. She was always having sex. Always. And I was like, number one, she's a slut. But number two, is she hot? <laughs> like, is that, like, a thing? Like, like she's, whoa, like, sexy? Like, I have, here. like, my neighbor, like, this cat comes into our house. So this is like, oh, that's where sexy cat lives. You know what I mean? Right. Like, the girl that you sure. had a crush on, you're like, oh, she lives down the street, down over there. Like, you drive by there, you're like, oh, that's Tiffany's house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like, that's what I'm thinking. These other cats go by there and they go, ooh, that's where, you know, your cat that's where Pinto the cat lives. Saying. Yeah, my like, cat is cat, the sexiest sexy cat, cat in the whole neighborhood. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a, that's a lot And of, unlike her dad, that's like, go away, cat. kind of, you know what I mean? Like, you've never thought of these things. you never no, thought that, like, never could, maybe, well, here's what I'm wondering. like, in their world, even like a bug, you've never seen a spider and been like, oh, like, it, it's a big, scary spider because it's so big. And then you're like, I want to fuck that No, spider. but I mean, it's big. <laughs> it's a giant, it's huge. It's a giant spider. And it's, like, really, like, a genetically impressive specimen. Okay. And to me, I go, well, if it's genetically impressive, then it must be attractive in, like, its own species. So that spider, while big and scary oh, to yeah, me, totally. is fucking sexy to other spiders. That's, that's the James like Dean of spiders. Yeah, every other spider. He walks in like, oh, hey, everybody. Sexy spider. I'm just shaking my thorax over here. And then for some reason, you just get so much more satisfaction when you knock him off his web and squish him dead because you're like... Huh, that's what you think about the pretty people now. I just crushed that sexy spider. You've destroyed an entire line because that spider could have sired many, many, many another spider. There could have been all these gorgeous, beautiful, sexy spiders. Mm -hmm. You had a spider harem. Wait, it doesn't work that way. It's more like there's a bunch of males and one female. Hey, baby, you want to get up in this web? Mm -hmm. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe spiders aren't attractive to each other. Well, it's probably more of like a natural, yeah. You know, like when when this time of year happens, the chemicals start to change and the sun goes down, and oh yeah, yeah. it's kind of that that thing where they just stick two animals that are like opposite sex, like in a cage together, and they're like they're gonna mate, and it's like why would they do that? Well, why would you just assume like that's what's gonna end up happening? Well, I think that there's that's like the prime directive of animals. Like only humans really give it more of a. Yeah, like, I'm gonna take her out to dinner. Well, like, what I'm do you put like? Out some music mm-hmm. and uh, uh, talk sweet into her. Yeah, you know, like, like yeah. only humans do all that kind of stuff. There's a little bit of a courting, in the sense that like animals do like like there's dances that certain animals do, and mm. there's there's courting rituals that animals go through. But uh, for the most part, ours is just considerably more elaborate and expensive. It's pretty much the same thing, though. The courting ritual is like, uh, you know, eat, eating lobster watching moving pictures and netflix and chill yeah yeah, yeah well the courting ritual is basically like hey i'm a good genetic sample of the species mm-hmm. you should allow me to father children yeah no. is that what you say that's that would be that <laughs> we should try that that's a great day. thing like hey I what's up that. um i'm a fantastic genetic specimen um, I have no diseases currently, and uh, my family lives very long lives. I would like to get up in it. Um, so I Boston would like to pass that. on some of my genetic material. Uh, if I can't pass it to you tonight, perhaps I could um, put it on your face. <laughs> Like some genetic material on your face, <laughs> just uh, just to look at it, just to you know. And tonight we'll go ahead and put it on your face, and tomorrow <laughs> perhaps we'll leave some on the pillow, and um, you know, and, and next weekend maybe maybe on the sheets, and then oh my God. and then I'll just bust up in them guts, you know, like like I was <laughs> bust up in them guts. Just make it happen. Ah, it's not a it's not a happy thought. <laughs> your gross out factor That's is way too weird. low. Ugh, bust up in them guts. You ain't never heard this before? No, because that makes it sound like... Makes it, it sound really like takes having, the romance like out of the yeah, situation, it's totally. Like doing, doing the liver or something. <laughs> the most unattractive word I've ever heard for a vagina. Moist? No. No, no, no. 
piss flaps. Ooh, piss flaps. Piss flaps. Piss flaps. Ugh. That's pretty gross. No, yeah. that's not a good one. It's not a good one at all. That's that's pretty gross. Mm. I've, I've heard a, a billion of them. They're all disgusting. Ugh. What what were we what were we talking about before? Piss flaps. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother's got these piss flaps in his hands, right? And he's like smacking. What? what? Thank you so very much for listening to the Random Bush Show. 